positive thinking has destroyed <laughs> many possibilities for people. <laughs> The mind paves the way, but never takes you there. You still have to walk the good way. Thought being so important is a very unhealthy way to approach life. This will give you a high, but it is not an ultimate solution to life. This positive thinking has destroyed <laughs> many possibilities for people. <laughs> Positive thinking is like this. This is a poem written by a positive thinker. <laughs> a little bird did fly in the sky. Shit it did in my eye. <laughs> but I can neither worry nor cry because I'm a positive thinker. <laughs> I thank God and pray that buffaloes don't fly. <laughs> I wish the bu buffaloes did fly and did land on all these people <laughs> because If you're not willing to just see life the way it is, there is no way to take a step about it. Isn't it so? If you're unwilling to look at life just the way it is, you can't do anything about it. You can only mentally go on doing funny things, which can keep you entertained, but never takes you anywhere. If we are concerned about this life, it's very important that we are truthful about where we really are. Only then we can make a journey. If you just simply bullshit yourself to believe everything is fine, everything is wonderful, you must understand this. Mind can only pave the way. It's never the journey. Right now, you want to go where? You want to go to some dream place, wherever that is. If you… the only way you can go is first you think mentally. Oh, I want to go there. I want to go there, plan, money, this, that works. So the mind paves the way, but never takes you there. You still have to walk the good way, isn't it? So if you sit here and think about God, think about heaven, think about spirituality, think about enlightenment, okay, paves the way. But it doesn't matter even if you laid out a super highway, till you take the journey, you don't get there, isn't it? Yes? You have the best highway laid out, but you didn't make the journey, you didn't make the journey, that's all there is. It's a wasted highway if nobody makes the journey. <laughs> so you need to understand what you do mentally is not reality, it is just setting the direction, but you still have to walk the distance. Sadhguru, you once said positive thinking has some psychological relevance but no existential relevance. Can you please expand on that? See, in these cultures definitely you have given too much significance to your thought process, too much. I think uh, the Renaissance philosophers said, I think, so I exist. So that is the level of significance you've given for thought. But you tell me, from your own simple sense you tell me, which is true? Is it because you exist you think or is it because you think you exist? Hmm? Because you exist you think, isn't it? Because you have not known life any other way except thinking, now you have made it all important. Now, for me there is no thought. If I simply sit here, I will sit here without a single thought on my mind. 
Does it mean I'm not existing? I'm existing, absolutely existing. Because I'm existing in such a powerful way, thought is just a small happening for me. My thought is just a small happening for me in my life. I can think, it's not that I'm incapable of thinking. <laughs> I can think, but still it is a very small happening because my existence is far, far bigger than my thought. Now people are trying to make their thought far bigger than their existence. Thought being so important is a very unhealthy way to approach life. Initially it'll give you the thrill because you can create a few things with your thought. See, if you generate a powerful thought, you can make certain things happen. You can have a certain power over other people and situations. This will give you a high but it is not an ultimate solution to life. You may be effective in the world, but within yourself you're still a mess. What is the point? You want to look good in ten people's eyes. That's not going to change the experience of your life. If you sit here, you're absolutely blissful. This is what changes the experience of your life. What somebody else thinks about you, why is it so important? Or what you think about yourself, why is it so important? Whatever you think about yourself, whatever the whole world thinks about it's about you, has no existential relevance. Whatever you're thinking right now has no existential relevance. It is only psychological relevance, maybe social relevance, but no existential relevance. So when we say a spiritual process, we are talking about an existential dimension not a psychological dimension, not a social dimension.